Is it possible to have intense feelings of nostalgia for an experience I never had? It's Dark Cloud, everybody! I'm so excited! <laughs> this is another one of those games. So, like, for the past, like, two or three years, I kept thinking, Oh, this is a cool old game. I should go back and play this. But I'd rather go back and play it on stream, right? Let other people enjoy the experience. It's a beloved old game, right? Let's let everybody else enjoy my first playthrough. Um, and, you know, two or three years go by of me not streaming, not playing video games. <laughs> it's finally this year I decided to correct that. And this is one of those games that I've been wanting to play for several years now. And now that I'm streaming, I finally have no excuse not to play it. So I'm playing it! Ah, I'm so excited. Let's dive right in. But before we continue, I hope you're having a comfy, a cozy, and a soothing Thursday afternoon. I had to think about what day it was. <laughs> Let's do this thing. A book was found in some old ruins. All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. A world with two moons illuminating the sky. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story... Do you believe in the story woven in the book? Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. Let me tell you this story. This ancient book tells of a magical... A magnificent fairy tale. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is... Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. We have to... <laughs> Tradition with this channel is we, uh... Anytime we are given the ability to name... Is there like a backspace? I may not be. Uh, anytime we are given the opportunity to name a character, we must come up with a name that would make the developers uh, regret <laughs> the, the decision to give us such um, autonomy. Um, and such a name. How many characters do we got here? We got nine, ten characters to play with. Uh, ooh, um, um, what's a good name? What's a good name? Uh, we're, uh, so, yeah, okay, here we go. We're gonna go with Salami. Hmm, yeah. Digging it. It is decided. A boy named Salami. Do you regret your decisions, developers? PlayStation 2 graphics. We've leapt into the future. By one console generation. This is on a genuine PlayStation 2, by the way. Being captured by a RetroTINK 5X Pro um, via... HD Retrovision component cable. You've gathered quite a few of them. I had a hard time finding dancers with the right qualifications. Look at them. Their dance of blood. Mixing the blood of witches with that of humans is key to breaking the seal. However, I do have some problems. Problems? In order to procure good material, you do need adequate, uh... Yeah, I see. I'll pay you extra. That should solve your problem, huh? <laughs> Yes, sir. Thank you. So, when will it happen? Very soon, sir. Let us enjoy the ceremony till it is time. mo -capped animation, too. Awesome. <laughs> the technology on display is truly a thing of the past. <laughs>
Flag, sir, do you know the legend of the dark genie sealed in the urn? Of course. How much money do you think I put into acquiring this urn? I've been waiting for this for years, and now its legendary power is mine. Four hundred years ago, the Genie of Darkness appeared in the East, and with its evil power, the world was burnt away. What do you intend to do with such frightening power in your hands? You'll see. It's probably ending world hunger, if we're honest. That might be the first twerk in video game history, right there. Groundbreaking. So now is the time. Yes, sir, so it seems. This is the genie? The dark genie? Well, it's quite different than I imagined. Nom nom nom. The ancient dark genie. This is it. Hey, who are you guys? Welcome back, Genie of Darkness. I broke the seal and released you. Therefore, I am your master. Oh, is that right? Hey, whatever. Fine. Uh, yeah, it's right. I haven't eaten for 400 years. Darn, I have to eat something. I need food. Fast. Gotcha. Oh? The struggle. Well, stop it! Help! Didn't even chew. Maybe we didn't have chewing technology in video games at this point yet. Hard to tell. Hey, delicious, eh? The two moons. Hi, how are you today? <laughs> Salami, it's already started. Come on, let's go. Salami, it's already started. Come on, let's go. See, I told you, you should have hurried. Come on, we're late. I'm a staff member this year, so I have to go. Sorry. Oh, she left you. Salami, hurry up. You cannot hurry the salami. If there's one thing I know about cured meats, they cannot be rushed. Just vibin'. It's those dang moons again. 
All three of them. I'm kidding. Look at these insects squirm about. Start there. <laughs> Pew, pew. Ugh. Get ankle pewed. See, kids, this is why you practice finger guns responsibly. Salami! <laughs> I mean, as last words go, there are worse, I suppose, but there are better as well. Hey there. Can you hear me? Open your eyes. Ooh, that's slide bass though. Or that fretless bass. Wake up! Hey! Exclamation point. <clears throat> I am the fairy king. I'm the entity that unites all of you all of nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Men, blinded by greed, have revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it. Your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village. In a flash, many villages and towns were destroyed. In one night, half of your world was annihilated. It must be men from the east that performed the resurrection ceremony, probably thinking to use its black demon power for war without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness, pure darkness itself. Long ago, this so-called dark genie almost destroyed the entire world. Its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it is the same type of magical power as us, spirits. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. Young man. I say, young man, I see that you have a strong will that could withstand the evil power, and also a clear, kind heart. You might be able to fight against the darkness it generates. I decided to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with power. Wow, I feel blessed. There, surprised? That's called Atlamilia. It's a stone with magical power. Oh, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. Do you know where this is? This is no simple empty lot. This was your village. But do not lose heart. As long as you have that stone, you can return it to its original form. <laughs> the PowerPoint presentation. I forgot about this part. Um, this isn't my this is my first playthrough though I've watched I've watched other playthroughs before, so I have a passing familiarity with it already. And I forgot about the PowerPoint presentation <laughs> in the tutorial. <laughs> you see, uh, just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I saved the buildings and people by sealing them into spheres called Atla. <laughs> it seems those... <laughs> just Clippy is going to appear any second now. It seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. 
they were probably blown to different places around the world. It probably thinks everything is destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb that which I sealed in Atla. Using that at Lamilia. And bring them back. Then you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. You may even be able to create an even better world than before. Hmm. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Oh well. I'll give you another lesson when you require some Atla. So long. It's Navi. Ah, the tunes. This is another, uh... <laughs> Salami, can you hear them? Uh, you should be able to hear them. Another uh, very strong basis on which I choose games for uh, streaming is the soundtracks. And I remember from the playthrough that I watched of this. Very good tunes. Voices of the wind, voices of the trees, voices of the animals, and the voices of Earth. They are all calling for your help. Salami, you will probably meet and say goodbye to many people. In talking to these people, you may receive clues to defeating the darkness. Look for them. Now, Salami, your adventure will begin. <laughs> First, go to the village chief's house. He'll show you where to go next. And so we shall. Norune Village. I have to get used to dual joysticks again. Oh, it's so good. It's... If you could play Kingsfield with dual joysticks. Oh, what a world that would be. <clears throat> I have to... I'll have to, like, get used to not strafing using the shoulder buttons and looking... It's... It's, oh, it's a whole... It's a brave new world with dual joysticks. Unfortunately, I already happen to know that Kingsfield Ancient City, the PS2 one, Still controls the same as previous ones. <laughs> so... At least I'm pretty sure, anyway. I suppose I never tried. Ah! Salami! You're alive! You can't keep a good salami down! Seems like we're the only ones in the village that survived. Never dreamt this would happen. One night and our village is gone. Can you believe this, Salami? I feel so helpless. I, the mayor of the village, can't do anything about it. What am I supposed to do now? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, I guess the only thing we can do is to get help from the guardian of Nerune village, Dran. Dran will not abandon us. He'll help us for sure. I have a favor to ask Salami. Go to the Divine Beast Cave and tell Dran what happened. Divine Beast Cave is the cave outside, towards your right-hand side. You've probably seen it before. I may be imagining things, but I sense something has changed about the cave. Be careful. This is the Cave Key. Cave Key acquired. I put the things you might need in your bag for you. Don't get carried away. If you get in trouble in there, come back here. I'll get you more supplies. Good luck. Mayor! Now our only hope is Dran. Dran has always watched over us. I'm sure Dran has watched us this time too and will help us. Dran, Dran, Dran. Uh, but really, this time even Dran's windmill, where Dran's magic power dwells, is destroyed. Dran lives in the deepest part of the Divine Beast Cave. So you know, the Divine Beast Cave is the cave on the right-hand side when you go out of this house. The entrance is locked. When who uh, Marks appears, press the square button and use the cave key. That'll let you in. The cave has changed quite a bit from before, Salami. Be careful. Okay. Now, when you're inside, you have a fixed camera position. There, there's a lot of things this game has in common with Ocarina of Time. If, if you're, 
If you're looking at this and thinking Ocarina of Time, uh, don't worry, you're not alone. There, the, the art style is very clearly Ocarina of Time, but PS2, right? The game itself, gameplay itself, not a lot of resemblance, not as much anyway. But certainly, if you're looking at this and getting Ocarina of Time vibes, you are not alone. If I remember right, there is a way to go into first person. There it is. And, oh, okay, you can actually move around in first person. Is there, is there strafing or, mm, no, it doesn't appear as though. Okay. So, I can't. Yeah, that's peculiar. Both the left and the right joystick will look left and right. But, yeah, and when you're inside, um, it behooves you to uh, go into first person and look around so you can escape the fixed camera position because there will be some secrets worth uh, fetching uh, this way. <clears throat> also, okay, hang on. I've got a... Uh, option... Option 2, there we go. Enemies HP display, display a character name for first stuff, Furkish display, marriage perch. Okay, so... Is there... There might not be. There might not be, alright. Hoping I could change the, uh... Um this. <laughs> this is, what's it called? Um, joystick. Horizontal. Vertical. Some such. Um, but yes. Let's... Is this the door? Is this the man's door? This is the man's door. Very good, man. Good door on you. Select. We'll do edit mode. And here is a menu that we don't understand yet. Diorama menu. Diorama analysis. All right. Move, remove, config, assembly. We don't have anything. That will all make sense shortly. <clears throat> uh, it's like, yeah, okay, great. And if I, okay, okay, oh. I see, that's interesting. When you are in, so when you're inside, you can go into first person mode and move around. When you're outside, you have control of the camera, and when you go into first-person mode, you cannot move. So that's interesting. That looks like a cave, all right. That looks like a house, all right. Let's go. Is there a sprint? What kind of buttons do we got here? That's not the... That, okay. We've... It is dusk. We've spent so much time... Playing with buttons. That the day has changed. There is a day-night cycle in this game. As you can see. Square, did he say? Yes. Oh, it's in our inventory here. Tasty water. Nearly quenches thirst. Ah, yes, that's right. Bread. Eating it recovers health a little bit. Repair powder. Recovers whip of weapons. Having this allows an escape from dungeon with command. Very good. And antidote drink. Drinking it neutralizes the poison in the, uh, the body. Cave key. In we go. Divine Beast Cave. Oh, the tunes. Oh, so good. <laughs> it's <laughs> so good. Basement one. In we go. You, sir. It's for real this time, Salami. From here on, you'll be put to the true test. Behold! First, conquer this wretched Divine Beast's Cave and find Dran's Lair. This is your first goal. Since you're a beginner, I'll give you a lesson on how to fight in the dungeon. Yeah! First, to advance to the next floor in the dungeon, acquire a gate key for the door leading to the next floor. Each dungeon has a different gate key, 
for the Divine Beast Cave, Dran's Quest. <laughs> Crest, sorry, who <laughs> will be the gate key. The gate key is almost always carried by a monster in the dungeon. You must defeat the monsters to acquire the gate key. Since you can't tell which one has the key, you just have to defeat them all one by one. Next, I'll tell you about how to return to the ground level rather than advancing to the floor below. Mind Connect 3G To return to ground level, mind connect with me. In other words, speak with your mind. <laughs> God, it's just the, the clip art and the every... It's so unique. <laughs> I, I was going to say good, and then I was going to... I was searching for <laughs> it's, uh, some derogatory words, and I changed my mind. I settled on unique. When you do this, I will transport your body to the ground level. Just select leave dungeon from the main menu. But be aware, if there are monsters left on the floor, the mind connect won't work. It will be blocked by their evil energies. In such cases, use the item escape powder to get out on your own. The Norune Village Chief has lots of it, so be sure to get it before you go. You can also mind connect with me when you go through the gate to the next floor of a dungeon. When you re-enter the dungeon, you can start at the next new level, so you don't have to worry about losing progress. Next, it's on, it's on to weapons. Be aware that weapons are breakable. The more you use a weapon, the more it wears. And finally, it breaks. Broken weapons will disappear. To prevent weapons from breaking, use the item Repair Powder. It will restore their whip. The longer you use a weapon by repairing, the more magic it absorbs from monsters and thus becomes stronger. It's said that when a weapon re reaches its full strength, it can change to a more powerful form. Keep that in mind. Oh, I cast a special spell on the dagger you have on, so it'll never disappear. But all the new weapons you will get during the quest will disappear once they break, so be careful. Don't waste your hard work by letting a weapon break and disappear. Finally, the important stuff. The sphere, Atla, where I protected the sealed fragments of the world. If you see an Atla, don't hesitate to touch it. You can absorb the contents of an Atla into Atlamilia by touching it. When you return to the surface, you will be able to begin reassembling these fragments of the world. Oops, today's lesson ran a little long. That's it for the lecture today. Now, Salami, show me your true ability on this quest. Poof. <laughs> exactly the reaction that I would expect a boy named Salami to have. Let's see, what's the... There's the attack. Ooh, okay. Alright, we did good. So, attack... Oh, I'm poisoned. That was fast. Okay. Um, well, here's an Atla, anyway. Let's do the thing. There we go. River acquired. We now have a river on our wrist. Lock on. Keep an eye on my HP. Hey, hey, Dran's Crest acquired. Very good. That is the key to leave this floor. I wonder if poison wears off or if I'm just gonna be... So I think this is how this is the exit. So we could just finish the floor now if we wanted, but maybe we don't want that. What more can be found? We're still poisoned. Oh, right, yes. The whole point is to acquire all the Atlamilia. Cabin acquired. Go there we go. Lock on acquired. Okay, let's item. Uh, uh, first bread. Feed the man bread. It's good. And now antidote. Cure the man's poison. It's good. Okay. Right, uh, okay, sure. I will take this. Atlamilia acquired. Or no, sorry, that's just Atla. Fence acquired, that's it. Lock on is misbehaving slightly. There we go. 
Ugh, poisoned again. That didn't take long. Death incoming. Oh boy, in a big way. Let's see if we can... What do we got, what do we got? Nearly quenches thirst. I don't think that... Um... Let's do an escape powder, shall we? We're... Let's try to serve. Oh. Interesting. Active item. Okay. Can we not use it because we are in... I haven't... We're gonna die. We don't have a choice. Here we go. Ah, there was someone. There was another skeleton. Salami is nearly destroyed. No, Salami. You're too tasty to die. <laughs> Seems like you finally come back with some Atla. Very well, then. I shall teach you, as I promised. <laughs> the clip art is amazing! The pieces sealed inside Atla are released by touching the Atla with your left hand, where the power of Atlamilia resides. Buildings and people that were sucked into the Atlamilia will be restored to their original form. Once you bring them back to the ground level, you can arrange them as you wish. By going back and forth between the dungeon and the ground level, you can restore the earth to its original form. That's your mission, as the one who was granted the power of Atlamilia. Now, let us move on. This may get a bit technical. If you wanted to place buildings, etc., press the select button while walking and go to edit mode. Press the select button again to return to walking mode. In edit mode, you can reassemble buildings that have fallen apart and place them on the ground. Hello, Shadow Wing. How is it going? Seeing is believing. Try it yourself. Must be faster than listening to my lecture. Oh, yes, and if you ever forget the things I teach you, use this. It's a book! Manuel acquired. It's a guide for using Atlamilia and other things. I wrote it for beginners like you. Manual, Manuel, sorry, can be selected <laughs> from the main menu. Read it really carefully. Okay, I leave the world's reconstruction to you. I'll be watching. <laughs> so long! Poof, once again. Am I just gonna drop dead as soon as I... Uh, no, okay, good. There's no HP bar out here. In fact, yeah, no, that's all good. Let's talk to the man here. The first to death might be free just because of the cutscene that's required. It's nighttime. Let's get inside. Sir Mayor, Sir Mayor, man. This looks to be no easy task. I put some items you'll be needing in your bag. Be careful, okay? Let's take a look at... Okay, we've got more bread. Water. Manuel! And do we have... Ah, okay. We have more antidote to drink. Very good. What's... Uh, okay, so the dagger... The dagger has 28 out of 48 whip left, but it can't break, so I don't know if there's any reason to use repair powder on it. Attachment. Okay. So what's... I don't... It's not clear how to use these. If I... Okay. There we go. And let's do the escape powder. Okay. Escape powder can't be hot barred. Interesting. But the manual can. Oh, the manual can't. How interesting. Tasty water. Sure. The dagger and defense power. Eating favorite food increases it. Good. Hello, Salami. Weapon. 
And then a whole heap of nothing here. Fairly easy to use. Default weapon. Allies. Oh, this is where our party would be if we had one. Giorama parts. Here we go. We do have... Ah, okay. So we have the river. We have a cabin. And we have a fence. But we don't have the building that that's associated with. Okay. Let us run to the outside, which... Wait a second. Oh, that's a lamp. Got it. Surely, that is a lamp. Okay. We may now edit. Georama menu. Uh, not quite. Assembly. Here we go. I can put... Can I just draw a river anywhere, then? Is there any rhyme or reason? Well, okay. When in doubt, a river runs through it. Oh, do I only have... Oh, okay. I only have four pieces of river. Okay, interesting. That's a small river. Well, when in doubt, put it anywhere. Anywhere at all. Um, that's one square looking river. <laughs> Just a big P in the middle of the room. Or maybe it's a lowercase d. It's fine. Let's go ahead and save as well. New file. I definitely appreciate the luxury of being able... Saving completed. Uh, the luxury of being able to save whenever we want. Uh, and select. Here we go. And now suddenly there is a river. River, quote-unquote. It's the P River. That's... I regret that immediately. So, the... Wait, one of the many interesting things about this game is that each level of the dungeon is randomly generated each time? It's either the first time or each time. Anyway, this is basically a roguelike. Um, there are a scripted amount of things that are are to be found in each level and some levels are occasionally scripted more beyond that but for the most part most levels are randomly generated and this might be yeah this is different used to have a door in front of us and now we don't So yeah, randomly generated every time. Oh, boy. I don't like the bats. The bats are... The bats are mean. Okay, here's the door. We found the key. Um, where's... Oops. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, there's our hot bar up top. Got it. Was that the... Nope, that clearly was not the poison we accidentally consumed. Let's just do that then. So that's our Estus. <laughs> for lack of a better term. Where is our... Do we have a... Men... Oh, we do have some other... What's... Do we have... Okay, we don't have a display on this... Uh, this screen, but suffice it to say there are a number of things we need to collect and we have not yet collected all of them. Was there? Ooh. Yay. Hello, Atla. Ball of thing. Trees acquired. One does not simply acquire trees. Yeah, the combo. Magical crystal. Interesting. 
Ah, so that's what the magical crystal does. It shows you where items are on the map. Very good thing. Road acquired. Let's see. I do know... Th what's this then? Pumped with energy! Do I have a stamp? Dran's Crest. Oh, right. Because we lost the first one, I guess. Dagger's ABS is full. You can now upgrade it. Okay. Dagger's ABS. Sorry, that wasn't capitalized. There was no impl implication that it's an acronym. Attribute upgrade. Evolve weapons. Absorbs attachments. We don't have any attachments, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have any attachments. Gotcha, so that's what that menu means. Attribute. Okay. Whew. Discard with Rurch Dirt Null. That's. <laughs> That's not the most clear uh, abbreviation, but let's go ahead and upgrade. Our dagger becomes... Dagger plus one. All right. Very good. Now the weapon durability actually matters. Um, because if it breaks, this becomes just a regular dagger again. And all of that experience that we got by using the weapon evaporates if it breaks, etc. Um, other weapons we find and upgrade, when they break, they just disappear. So yeah, uh, weapon durability is a very important thing to keep an eye on. With this game... And our... Yeah, I didn't... Okay, gonna have to get used to that. Does... Oh, does that cure poison as well? Or did it just wear off? I'll have to learn about that. Anyhow, let's go ahead and use repair powder now. No, let's not. Let's not yet. Let's push it. Let's get greedy. We'll always have our dagger. We'll want to <laughs> move on from our dagger ASAP, but, well, we'll always have it, at least. And now it is an extra good dagger. It's good! It looks like each attack costs one weapon health point. Maybe that changes with different... Antidote drink. Hooray. So what other... Do I have... Oops. Bad button press. Very bad. Come on. Okay. There we go. Locking on requires some skill. Loving the stagger. It's good. There we go. Now we have the alarm of it's gonna break soon. Now I'm happy to repair the thing. Fitty out of fitty. It's good. Do I have what other... I wonder if... Yeah. Lots to learn here. Lots to learn, and we will learn lots. Whoa, and the, can the sensitivity <laughs> of the camera is... Through the skylight. Cave bat. Dang it, cave bat. Oh, it didn't poison me, though. Interesting. Maybe it's just a random chance. Macho uh, acquired. If only it was that easy to acquire macho. You will not strike.
map acquired. Ah, there we go. That's nice. Lamp. I love lamp. And it's been acquired. Whoa. Oh, there it is. Big thing. It's locked. Forcing it open may activate a trap. For, okay. If I remember right, if you guess the tra how does this work again? The trap, I, th oh. there's a, there's a trick to this that sort of trivializes the whole possibility of trap thing. Successfully release the trap. Hooray. I think it's something like, I, uh, I just, I don't remember. It's, it behooves you to always guess explosion, I think. Shamshir acquired. Because the, if you guess explosion and are right, hooray, you've deactivated the explosion. If you guess explosion and are wrong, it's one of the other two that are going to get triggered but they're easy to avoid, I think. Uh, repair powder acquired, loving it. I think that's how that works, we'll find out. I have watched a playthrough of this game before, but I am by no means an expert, of course. Oh, now I've been poisoned. Did we get uh, any health recently? Are you still, there we go. Did we get any healies? Well, we got an antidote. That's certainly a good thing. Now, I can see on the map that in the next room is a healing spring. So I'm just going to make a beeline for that. Health! It's good. Health and thirst recovered here. Loving that. Ah, there's... what? There is a tram with rusty wheels. Use item with so on. Okay. So long as you don't poison us. There we go. It was good. More Atlamilia. Sorry, no, these are just Atla. I'll remember that. Ooh, Macho's house. Macho is a person, evidently. And he's in our wrist. Pumped with energy. Okay. Familiarizing ourselves here. And what is... Ah, so this is the thing. This is... Yeah, so at the in this particular dungeon, anyway, at the end of every floor is going to be a tram. Um, which Dran's Crest is going to, is that right? Maybe that's not right. Nope, that's not right. Okay, so there was a door that we did not, there are a couple doors even. Okay, well, good news is that we've cleared out all of the enemies in on this floor and we've gotten all the items. Oh, we also got a weapon. Let's take a look at the sham shear. Twenty attack. Let's see, yeah, quite a bit better. Although we're very close. Well, it's fine. <laughs> Let's just equip it and customize. Okay. Attribute. Got it. Change weapons to different weapon. Can be built up into the following thing. Okay. It's, yeah, the, the weapon upgrading system is quite elaborate and fun, I remember. So I look forward to diving deeply into that. Okay, so what's... Is this the... This isn't the exit, is it? Is that how I came in? 
And is this then? Yes, this would be where Dran's crest goes, I assume. Indeed. Okay, I remember now. So the tram takes us to a the back room, which has a, <clears throat> I think a secret item or something like that. And I forget what's, mm, okay. I'll, I'll piece this together over time. Um, yes, yeah, so let's continue to the, na uh, no, let's leave temporarily. Let's get some more goods from the mayor. He apparently refills our stuff, which is quite kind of him. It's nighttime. Also, uh, we can put some stuff in places. Uh, actually, first, before we put stuff in places... Yeah, a re ooh. Oh, no, I remember. Okay. Yeah, I'm, very, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. We can place the thing. It's not complete until... Uh... Yeah. Macho's house. Very good. Uh, and we can also do some stuff. Like put Macho in his house. I think... Uh, none of these have any. Okay. So we can put these down with no... With no care at all. Who wants a tree? It looks very pretty. It's like Walden. And also a road. We must pave paradise. It's good. This will all make sense later. There's a there's a perfect way to align everything. That sort of only becomes clearer once you have everything and can talk to the people and see what they need. Uh, and Georama analysis will give you some insight as to how close or far you are from the best configuration. Um, river... Yeah, we're we're good there. We're good with road. Good with trees. Yep, great. Okay. We have put down everything that we have in no particular <laughs> uh no particular arrangement. But a nacho sorry, macho exists. I watched uh Better Call Saul this year. So, if I ever call macho nacho Bread acquired. Very good. You'll know why. Tasty water acquired. Water is tasty. One sec, let me indulge. Water is tasty and good. Loving it. Let's, uh barge into this man's house, shall we? What's the worst that could happen? Hello, macho. Ah, <laughs> salami, I missed you, man. Your smile really brightens my day. Ooh, I mean, coffee is mostly water, so, you know, you're pretty much there. <laughs> if you see my big bro, tell him you didn't see me, okay? I'm counting on you. If you see my big bro, tell him you didn't see me. Okay. How should I rebuild Norune? Fighting is what a man should live for. It's a basic fact of life, right? Uh, what will happen when it's done? Hmm, that's... You should ask my big bro. Is that really... Yeah, okay. So you have... These are your four lines of dialogue. Tell me how to rebuild your house. Look, don't forget to expand my room and the barbell. Put that outside. Okay. So, in there somewhere, we will find a barbell. Do you have any more pearls of wisdom? The dungeon will get tougher after the ninth floor. The other day, I almost got... <laughs> I almost got worked. Oops, you haven't gone there yet. Sorry, sorry. Any more... 
Duel is a fight of timing. They say if you fight a perfect match, you'll be rewarded by the Terra Fairies. I'm not sure if that's true, though. Fighting is all about timing. Withdraw when you should, and attack when you can. The skilled warrior knows all of this. Listen to me. Looking at Claude's flab just irritates me. He doesn't understand how a guy ought to be. Mmm. All right, let's take a look at that text looks like when you tell AI to generate a like a band poster for you and the characters are just nonsense. Uh, do you have anything I can steal? <laughs> That's that's always the first question I have when I play these games. What can I steal? Looks like there is nothing. Do you have... There we go. Camera is... Misbehaving slightly. That's right, blame the camera. Not the cameraman. Morning! You, sir, kind sir, man, mayor, with all the goods. This looks to be no easy task. I put some items you'll be needing in your bag. Be careful. Okay. Um, so we have bread, tasty water. Thought we'd have two of that, but... Uh, no, I forget. Anyway, escape powder, repair powder, antidote drink. Very good. He gave us bread and water. Good. Or rather, he gave us bread because we didn't have it. Water we found outside. Not, uh, Macho's house. All right, I'm going to have to... <laughs> so, Lufia, too, I kept calling Tia Lufia. And Macho, I'm clearly going to keep calling Nacho. So... I'm going to have to start a counter about that. Also, I'm going to have to remember that I can save whenever I want here. And shake off the Kingsfield saving mentality where you just hope you run across one <laughs> a save thingy around the next corner. Divine Beast Cave. Okay, so... This tells us that we got all of the Atla on the floor. We found eight of eight... chests? Uh, and I think we've killed 20 monsters. I don't know if... Uh, I'll have to... Hmm. Anyway, the main thing is the Atla. We want to be sure to collect all of that ASAP. I'll have to look up... Hoa? It's a kitty! Show me what you got, Shamshir. Ooh, Shamshir is good. Like in the Shamshir. Ooh, wow. Yep. Money! Ooh, and is there a... Did we... Come upon the spring already? We did! Alright, love that layout. That's a good layout right there. Early spring is good. Okay. So this is where we entered, and we can't leave. Yes, we get no prompt when we approach the door. Understood. Whoa. Camera. 
Attila. So, no, no, yeah, uh, there we go. We got it. Cabin acquired. Well, at least we didn't get poisoned. There it is. A Yamich. Take that, Yamich. Okay, a baddie is present. Skeleton soldier! With bread. Barbell acquired. Macho will be very thankful. Other side. Regular water. What's the distinction there? Quenches thirst a little bit. Ah, I see. So yeah, we, our thirst meter has three pips on it. If you look at our little salami card there at the bottom left of that, you can see the, the water, the thirst pips. I guess tasty water does like two and a half or something, and regular water just does one or one and a half. We'll find out. Map acquired. Loving it. Come here, skeleton. <laughs> I was doing the Kingsfield thing where I try to get around to the back of them. Wrong game. He's running away. There we go. We're getting good at fighting the bats. <clears throat> Pike acquired. I can only assume that is the fish that we release into the river. Supplies. Supplies! Comacho. Now, I'll have to look into it. But I'm pretty sure there are no secrets as such. Like, you know, Kingsfield games, you have to bump every single square, every single tile of wall to make sure there's no secrets. I don't think there's any of that kind of stuff in, uh, in this game. And the game doesn't hide anything from you. So, shouldn't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Oh no, I've been whacked. Okay. Um, let's... Okay, there's a uh, another baddie. Let's keep an eye on... Dran's que uh, Crest. Boy, I'm going to be saying cre Quest a lot. Ideally, we get as much utility out of our weapon before we repair it. Shamshire has taken extreme damage. It'll be broken if you don't do something. Okay, fine. Uh, repair powder. Yes. It's good. Another lamp! I love lamp. I love both lamps. There's... Oh, right. I was distracted from uh, the chest. Antidote amulet. Interesting. What all does that do? Defense against enemies' poison attack will rip after extensive use. Interesting. How does this get used? Where does this... Do uh, mm -hmm. Will rip after extensive use. Can it? No. Or... No. Nope. How does one use... Does it go here? Nope. How about here? Okay, it goes there. 
All right, cool. I'll figure that out, I guess. Nice thing about this uh, level is that we've got two uh, fountains for <laughs> functionally infinite health. So I think I'm all right. Poison me all you want. That's how we leave. Monet. I don't remember how much it was. So I think the key item... There's a tram with rusty wheels. So I think... Somewhere... Escape out our antidote drink. I assume there's something like... Oil... <laughs> or something... That we can use on the tram to activate it and access the back room. And in the back room of the uh, of the levels is a <laughs> Renee acquired is a particularly desirable item, I think. Clearly, it's been a while. Magical crystal. Annex room. If only I could find an annex so easily. Let's see. What does this magical crystal do? Where did it even go? Where did it go even? I don't see it anywhere. Interesting. Is it a weapon thing? Customize? Nope. Okay. Is it a... Do we use it over here? Nope, it's not in the... Did I, like, put it back or something? Or what happened? <laughs> what? <laughs> Magical crystal. I'm not sure what that did for me. I guess we'll have to find out... By playing some more of the game. Uh, so this is the exit. Anything else that I want to do here? There's some key item that we don't have. Okay, I'm noticing now the magical crystal is on our UI up in the top right. Oh, that's right. I remember what the magical crystal does. That would be showing us the locations of all the things on the map. But since we already had the map and it was the very last thing we found, <laughs> it was not useful. Transcrest. Into the down we go. To the next floor. It's cutscene time. Hello, sir. The wise man with much knowledge. I'm back. Exciting, eh? Don't give me that look. This is for your benefit. Now, here is the intermediate course. I won't repeat myself, so listen carefully. First is the lock-on. You already knew that pressing circle locks onto most monsters. Red target frame will appear around an enemy for as long as they are locked on. However, <clears throat> you may not have known that the L1 and R1 buttons functions uh, change during lock-on. Okay, pressing the L1 button during lock-on switches the lock-on to another enemy. All right, pressing the L1 button repeatedly cycles through all of the etc. Yes, gotcha. Next, pressing the R1 button activates your guard. Guarding allows you to defend against enemy attacks. Okay, so there is a thing. Don't forget the guard function. It can save you in the heat of battle. <laughs> the PowerPoint clip art is wonderful. Also, did you know about the attribute uh, change function for your weapons? This changes weapons' elemental attributes. There are five attributes. Fire, ice, thunder, wind, and holy. Many monsters are vulnerable to a specific attribute. To change a weapon's attribute, use the attribute or customize command in that weapon's menu and change it there. Of course, you cannot activate an attribute unless that weapon has points for that attribute. What do you think? Easy, huh? I <laughs> don't want to fry your noodles, so that's enough for this time. 
Good luck to you, boy. See you soon. Ah, he's not dumbfounded anymore. We are now Salami the Wise. Let's try this blocking thing. Okay, it hurts still. <laughs> Alright. Yay! Alright, we lived. I like living. Living's great. Yikes! I hit the... I hit the Kingsfield attack button. And it nearly cost me my life. Map acquired. Loving that. I love an early map. Candy box. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, it doesn't yet tell me where... Ooh, he got me good. Yikes. Okay, <laughs> time for some bread. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna have a quick sandwich here. A bread sandwich. Let's just get in there, do an attack. Okay, they're not so bad. Give me all your money. Can't see a spring on the map yet. Perhaps if I find a magical crystal, is that what it was called? I'll find it. So many lamps. These people in this town really love their lamps. So here is the regular exit. The pleb exit, I guess. And we are such a pleb. Well, this, yikes. What will this do for me? Ah, uh, okay, that's pretty effective. Loving the staggers. The staggers are good. Thank you, magical crystal. So, can I see the... Are there any springs around? It doesn't actually look like there is. That's a bummer. So I have finite health on this floor. And I've already chewed through quite a lot of it. Bench acquired. Get equipped with bench. Magical power plus one. Okay, there's our first uh, thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, attachment. There we go. Let's take a look at the sham shear here. Uh, weapon. Uh, customize. Yes, here we go. Increases effective attributes. Plate allows synth sphere and normal attachment. Okay. I vaguely remember what that means. Okay, yeah, it is just magic plus one. But that is a thing for sure. That is some kind of damage up. Why would I opt out of it? Wrong. There we go. Min minon, minon. What is the? Is that just like a, a, a just a lump of hair with eyes? I hmm. Don't know how to feel about that. The uh, statue dog. Yikes! That's a real big thing. Okay. Bread is required. Give me all your bread. Okay. Ah, it's fish bait. Got it. There is a fishing mini game in this game, and we will be indulging for sure. Oh, they're not so bad. Okay. Dran's Crest. Let's take a look over here first before we dig much deeper. Getting thirsty. Well, fine, then. Um, there's no spring here on this floor, unfortunately. So let's consume the good stuff. And try to blast through the rest of this as effectively as possible. Oof. Okay. So repair powder is becoming required.
Okay. Any more enemies in this room? Yep, turn around just like that. Very good. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Yep, Shamshir broke and disappeared. So, I was thinking that basically every connected hit cost one unit of durability, but apparently not. I guess that changes. All right. And there you go. A weapon broke and is now gone forever, including the thing that we put on it, I think. Um... Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. Uh, I'm not going to put... Uh, okay, fine. No, never mind. We'll save that for a different weapon. Wheel. Okay, so now we know. We need to be a little bit more proactive in regards to uh, weapon durability here. They will break faster when used against, I guess, different kinds of enemies. Maybe that's the thing that was unique about that one. Ooh, oh. Salami is nearly destroyed. What happens if we die? What's the punishment? What's the penalty for death here? Is there much of... Oh, okay. I think we just lose the... Okay, let's find out how much progress was lost here. It may just be that that floor has been undone. Yeah, the previous ones. Okay. Oh, no, we didn't lose any progress, apparently. We might just not have the key. And we might have to... Well, you know, I don't know. Well, let's dive back in. But first, before we do that, I am going to take a quick break, grab some water, do some stretches. If you are... Okay, good, the pause item, or pause menu. We'll still have music. Good, good. Um, if you are able to, I recommend that you do some stretches and get some water with me. Uh, your body loves both of those things. I'll be right back in just a little bit with some more dungeon diving in Dark Cloud. Oh, I've been looking forward to this for a while now. <laughs> be right back. And we're back. Thank you for waiting. Uh, let's do a dive back in. Um, and actually, I'm reminded that, yeah, we don't have any healing items, and we can go ahead and get those for free. So let's go ahead and do the that. How do we... Uh, there you go. Leave dungeon. Mind connect. Hindered by monster. Use escape powder. Do I have to kill all of the enemies? I guess I have to kill all of them on the floor before I can do such a thing. That's fine. Let's... That's what we have it for, so let's use it. Poof. Uh, Norune Village. So yeah, the punishment for death in this game seems uh, minimal. Which is nice. <laughs> That's a... Uh, that's a comfy, cozy time guaranteed right there. <laughs> Minimal punishment for death. What's uh, this blue arrow over here? Ooh, ah! It's macho! Same dialogue? Yep. Seems like, anyway. Oh, no, I meant to... How should I... Okay, yeah. I'll give you your... Your barbell in a moment. But first, I need my inventory refilled by the kind man. Mr. Mayor, this looks to be no easy task. I put some stuff in your thing. I heard you like stuff. There we go. Got our escape powder back. Uh, tasty water. Bread. I think there should be an antidote. Indeed there is. Uh, yeah, okay. All good. 
Tell you what, should I just... If I talk to him again, will he give me another? Indeed he do! Okay, so that might be what I... This might just be a... a tutorial dungeon kind of thing, where... I assume that's just for this first area, <laughs> where I can restock for free on these critical items. And I guess for this area, I should probably do that every time. Just leave and uh, repair the weapon. Um, but let us... Uh, okay, so this peanut looking thing... Is that the barbell? Indeed it be. Okay, and that looks like the cabin. <laughs> Sorry, it's the annex room. There's your annex. I hope you're pleased. Paige's father. Good at physical labor. Short big brother to macho. You probably go here. Rene, Salami's mother! Okay, and I assume a question mark means, yeah, I don't know what goes here yet, so when we find it, when we have it in our inventory, we will know. Okay. So far, so good. Damn, let's do a save, because why not? Saving. Complorted. Alright. Loving that. Is there really no... Cursor position, message display, clock, time progress, map display, density. I don't know what that... <laughs> yeah, I was hoping there was some, like, joystick inversion options, but it doesn't appear that there are. Which is a pity, but it's fine. Let's dive back in. So it's a shame we uh, we broke our first weapon, the sham shear. Probably uh, <laughs> would have been better to still have that, but well, it is what it is. This is how we learn. Okay, so. Five of eight. I have to assume that means treasure chests. And eight is the number of enemies that we've killed, maybe? Either way. Once more into the breach. Level three. Basement three of level one. Uh, let's go over here. Let's right okay, so there's there's nothing here. This is how a bone shaped keyhole. Use item okay. Would you like a fish bait? You would not. Couldn't hurt to ask, right? I miss my sham shear already. <laughs> oh well. Petite fish! I love a petite fish. My cats will adore it. Holy! Hey, we were, we've were we been blessed with a, a fountain, a spring, early. Holy gem! Ah. Thirst quenched. Sky Hunter. Okay. Interesting. What on earth could that be? Let's just hang out in the thirsty place. Um. Dagger plus one. The Dagger of Shame. Gives weapons the holy attribute. Increases damage to flying enemies. Okay. Conceivably, I can just put both of these on. Um... Customize. Make it a holy dagger. Holy dagger, yeah. Uh, let's do that thing. 
A holy sky dagger. Sure, why not? All right. And we'll want to... Uh, it's hard to know. I, when we upgrade the weapon, these will get absorbed into it and become permanent attributes of it. But I might not want to do that because these might be better spent on d any other weapon besides the, just the basic dagger. So I'll think on that. Anyway, we found a spring. So, good start. Oh, yikes. Ooh, uh. Ooh, uh. Okay. Nope. Oh, he, he, yeah, he gads. Okay. Yikes. How about you? There we go. That was quite a bad. Endurance plus one, though. We need to find a better weapon. <laughs> we had one, and then... Causes holy based... So, let's take a look at the weapon thing. I missed that. Customize. Okay, is it an attribute thing? Probably switch this to holy. So, how do we... Sacred gem. Stone blessed... Stone with blessed power. Is it just a consumable that gives me a temporary buff? <clears throat> Fish bait. Ooh, ha ha. Escape powder, antidote, it's all good. Okay. Give me your contents. Oh, chest. Th ugh. Throbbing cherry. That's... <laughs> that's... Uh, that's... That's... Uh, those are some uh, unpleasant words when combined. What does it do? <laughs> um, allows time to be stopped or advanced. Okay. Well, what? <laughs> I, I understand even less now. Get swiped. I can now upgrade the dagger. And we shall, I guess. We do need it. Badly. Let's remove... Let's hang on to these for better weapons. Um, that's fine. Upgrade. Dagger plus two. And let's put these back on. Holy. Flying damage. Sure. Attribute, we probably have to put Holy back on. Okay. Oh, I'm also noticing... Um, that upgrading a weapon does not repair it. Very interesting. Noted. I hear a big bad. There we go. Come here, big bad. Alright, that's better. Dran's Crest. Bone Key, alright. Time to see where that goes. Hmm. 
Let's go behind the bone key door now, why not? What's the worst that could happen? This is a nice, polite game. Surely we won't get absolutely wrecked. Before we do that, let's have a good drink and heal. And I believe this is the bone door. Yep. Or are we... No, yeah, trans... Okay, yeah. So this does... Oh, okay. I guess it's just a means of ensuring that you do kill as many enemies. Claude acquired. His back must be killing him from being stuffed in this ball for who knows how long. And a chimney, I believe. Come here. What an elusive bat. And now we're poisoned, even. Hey, now. St stop being so good. Um, it's a simple bat. Uh, we're out of bread. We've eaten all our bread. Can we eat? Ah, that's fine. <laughs> Love the shimmy. Yikes, friend. Oh my. I've been defeated by a bat. Salami is nearly destroyed. <clears throat> and it was a bat that did it to me. The bat of shame. Tis a pity. But we are back above ground again, and I believe we can place some things. Uh, let's take a look at... I've found so many lamps, and Macho doesn't want any, any of them. How about... Can I place... Nope, I cannot place. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and... Repair a thing. It's good. We'll get another repair powder when we talk to the mayor. You, sir, I've improved your house by putting a family member inside it. Oops. Ah. Uh, how should I rebuild? All right. Tell me how to rebuild your house. Look, don't forget to expand my room and the barbell. Put that outside. Is there... Where's the annex that I gave you? Is this the annex? This is the annex. Incredibly annexy. Are there any treasures? Is there anything I can steal in here? It's the only reason for things to exist in video games. To be stolen. Can I... Nope. Cannot mess with the locker. Okay. Well, hooray. Get annexed. Yeah. Man appears. Komacho. Thank you, Salami. Say, what happened on the day of the festival anyway? I remember a light flashed from the sky, and the houses disappeared, and after that I don't remember a thing. Did you see my little brother, Macho? I'd like the house to be someplace where I don't have to go far for a good workout. Okay. Noted. I'll give you something, but I'll keep it secret for now. The hint is rock-breaking strength. Mmm. A fence and a lamp would be nice. We had stuff any decent person would have, you know. So now that I know that, can I give you the thing now? Indeed I can. Okay, interesting. I had to... He had to tell me. We are completing a house, I believe. Event! 
I love events. Eh, 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 I would like to walking mode. There we go. That is a house with a fence and an event for us. <clears throat> An event is happening. Whoa, Salami, you've done it. Thanks to you, our house is back to normal again. Here, this is for you. Keep it. Stonebreaker. Hey, that's mine. Hey, bro. What do you think you're doing? Uh, like I always tell you, what's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine! That's how things between big brothers and little brothers should be. Grr. <laughs> I predicted that one. I can't take this anymore, bro. We're gonna settle this with a battle. Oh, really? Ready when you are. Uh, <laughs> be concerned. And Camacho was never seen again. Uh, annex? Anything in the happen? I don't know. Okay. How about? Ah. Hello? Looking at Claude's flab just irritates me. <clears throat> he doesn't understand how a guy ought to be, so he wants to be far away from Claude, I guess. It's finished! What? You aren't satisfied with, my, with what my big bro gave you as a reward? Mm. So, that item I gave you, think you'll get any use out of it? As wiry as you are, it should come in handy. Thanks for the casual insult. I live for these things. Why else would I be trying to become a public internet figure if not to endure constant casual insults? Sir, give me more free things. Be careful. Thank you. Wrong button. Uh, regular water, tasty water, and a bread, and antidote, repair powder, it's all good. Uh, let's, it's, it's all good. Pleased with that. Okay, that is more organized. Weapon. Increases damage to rock monsters. Okay. Important. Let's uh, let's go ahead and equip that for sure. Uh, Holy can go away. And Stonebreaker. So, rock and flying monsters are now... Uh, doomed, in a word. Okay, so we have our first completed building. We just need to uh, find more buildings now. And we also need uh, to save. It's good! I love how it takes a lot less time than the <laughs> PS1 takes. The I was, I was packing up the PlayStation 1 this morning before the uh, stream. And it was kind of sad. It occurred to me that I don't really, now that I've finished Kingsfield 2, I don't really have any more PS1 games on the horizon for the channel. It's, we're gonna be doing Dark Cloud and then we're gonna be doing uh, Kingsfield Ancient City, then we'll be doing Dark Cloud 2, then we'll be doing Eternal Ring. All those are PlayStation 2 games. And you know, anything could happen on the weekends, but I, don't expect that. Can I stagger, please? Oof. I would love to just stagger. 
Is there like... They're so brutal. Um, there's no PS1 games that occur to me as being uh, weekend material in the near future anyway. Um, so yeah, I just sort of packed up the PlayStation 1 for the foreseeable future. Kinda sad. I didn't grow up with a PlayStation 1. Oh boy, I've been destroyed, nearly destroyed, sorry, by a bat again. I have got to upgrade my weapon. Is there any kind of... Okay, so I have six money now, so maybe I lose... What did I have before? I'm guessing I lose money <clears throat> every time I die. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Hopefully my money isn't, like, halving every time I die. <clears throat> I, eh, it might actually be. Eh, I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a, uh... Hmm? How was the Divine Beast Cave? You ran into some monsters, right? What's happened to it, I wonder? Did you give me more free stuff? Okay, mm, yes you did. Thank you for the free stuff. Okay. So the, um, as not a, a PlayStation 1 haver as a youth, um, really all the time I've been spending with, um, Kingsfield in recent months has been the bulk of my experience with the PlayStation. Um, ever. And it's... <laughs> I can understand the nostalgia that many have for it. Um, it is a very... <laughs> it is a very unique way of, of doing 3D graphics. I grew up with an N64. I didn't have a PlayStation 1. Um, so I look at the PlayStation 1 graphics and think they're... <laughs> very strange, whereas I'm sure PlayStation 1 people look at the N64 graphics and think those are very strange. What with the excessive anti-aliasing and, and such. Oh no, I got stuck on the man. I would like to circle strafe if I can. Is there like... I need to... Let's lock on and see if I have any more abilities that I'm not aware of. Okay. How about... Nope, that's switch. Yeah, I feel like... I would really like there to be some sort of dodge button, but I don't know if there is one. Um, yikes, and then you get stuck on enemies like that sometimes when trying to move around them. Prickly acquired. Is that a... what does that do? Painful looking. Fishing bait. Okay. I've got a whole heap of bait here. Allows time to be stopped or advanced. Next time I find one of the big stone boys, I'm going to have to... Statues is what they're called. <laughs> I'll have to... See if that does... Something useful. It very well might could do. Take an extreme damage. Okay. Thank you for the Drans quest. Crest. <laughs> one day, I will get that right. I promise. Uh, not what I meant. Repair powder. On the thing. It's good. And... How much HP? Yeah, a little bit. This might. From... Okay, that was a full heal. So... I don't know how precise that was. Map acquired. Ooh, I see a spring. I'm going there.
Keep on getting staggered. Uh, let's go up here. What's the worst that could happen? Get Atlud. The llama acquired. I love acquiring llamas. Oh boy. So many skeletons. Yikes. Lock on is a little bit hit and miss. Uh, is there anything in here? No. Okay. Getting thirsty. Good thing I have. Get. No, let's do tasty water because this gets. We get. We get more tasty waters every time we talk to the mayor. Holy water! What do you do? Are you a... There you are. Releases from spells. Causes major damage to the undead. Okay. Shall experiment in the future then. But yeah, the near future of this channel is, like I was saying, Dark Cloud, Kingsfield, Dark Cloud, Eternal Ring. And then, you know, weekend stuff will be whatever weekend stuff will be. But I don't expect it to be PlayStation games. Uh, well, I don't know. I should think on that. I suppose I don't know that it won't be more PlayStation games. I'll surprise myself with that in the future. But yeah, I'm putting away the PlayStation 1 for an indeterminate amount of time felt uh, melancholy a bit this morning. Throbbing Cherry. Freeze. Why did I... Why would you... Oh, wait. This is a bad thing. <laughs> um, and this doesn't release this from spells. Maybe this is how I do the thing. Okay, so that's how I use those. The darn bat. I would like some spring, please. Let's get me some water. Okay. Thirst quenched. Okay. Can I tease Mr. Statue, Mr. Rock Boy? Over closer to the spring. There we go. Oh boy. I'm out of repair powder too. <clears throat> this is an interesting problem. Do I have, what do I got, what do I got, what do I got? And it is a Durant's crest. I do have the crest at least, so I can continue to the next floor. <clears throat> Regular water antidote. Yeah, I think I just have to, let's, Let's try to find all of the remaining Atla on this floor, if there are any. And then um, race to the end, basically. Which actually, I think this is the end right here. Yeah. Any, what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Big chest. It's locked! Forcing it open may activate a trap. Guess. Explosion. Failed to release the trap. The trap was a curse. 
Oof. Ouchie. Can I just keep guessing? Or no, now I know it's a curse, so. Successfully re release the trap. Uh, thank. Uh, praise the sun. Magical crystal. Let's run away. And, what's more, let's put our sham shear back on, shall we? Sha, sha, sha do. Uh huh, cannot disarm due to spell. Okay, so now I can use holy water. Oh no, I consumed the holy water. Alright, well, let's. Mmm, okay. Let's see if this wears off over time. Because that sure would be nice. I'm stuck using the... Okay, maybe the trick is you want to guess it's a curse. Because curse, because the others can be evaded. I don't know. I'll have to experiment with that some more. Okay, I was hoping that would undo curse, but it appears to have not done. What else do I got here? Holy base damage to enemy. Regular water antidote. Transca prickly. That's just fishing bait. Okay. Curse might just last until the end of the floor, maybe. Let's find out. We'll have to come back and clean out the rest of the enemies here. Which is a bit of a shame, but that's fine. Actually, I don't know if that is even necessary, but well, we're gonna do it anyway, I guarantee it. And... Drance Quest. Down we go. Progress. Uh, progress is saved. Back to Norne. It's been a while since we found a building in there. It is clearly nighttime. Do we have any more buildings? Nope. No, we don't. Whole lot of nothing. Okay. Oh, Mayor. Whoop. It is morning. Good morning, everybody. I hope you have a good day. I hope I don't die in the dungeon. I hope this man continues to have infinite water and infinite... Thank you for the thing. The bread man has given me bread. Escape powder, repair powder, water, it's all good. And also, tell you what, let's go ahead and pop some repair powder on here, as it's required anyway. Give me more! Thank you. Now, Shamshir. It's good. Customize. I am glad to have another Shamshir. Customize. Definitely want Stone Breaker. And probably Endurance because its its health does not does not have a very big health bar. Can I do double endurance? I can. Okay. Interesting. I won't, but I can, and that's cool. Uh, Alright. What does... Uh, what's... Where's the... I think... Ah, Ed is Endurance, got it, so 32. Okay. It just has a very low... The Shamshir has the same... 
uh, amount of endurance, or rather, uh, I guess robustness you can think of it as. It just has a lower whip. It will degrade just as quickly, but it does not have as much HP to degrade. Okay. I'm pleased with that. Do we have... We do have repair powder. Lovely. <clears throat> Let's go back in and... Well, tell you what, we're gonna have to... At some point, we're gonna have to go through all of these floors again to get the back room items, I believe. So, let's hold off on revisiting that floor. Until we have to revisit it again, anyway. Divine Beast Cave. Yep, yeah, 27, okay. What is on floor four? Oop. A scripted sequence. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> now you die. Are you sure about that? Ugh. Hi. Salami. He's a tough one, Salami. You will have to duel him. Uh, duel is a special form of combat. Controller button markers will move from right to the left. Press the right button. Press the right button. Correct button. When they line up with the light blue bar, arrows such as blah mean that they either the directional buttons or the left analog stick. Close to the button mark is to the center of the blue bar when you press a better V. If you hit all the marks with the right timing, you'll be victorious. When the duel starts, you'll be given indication of it with this mark. Be aware of it. Here it begins. Stay focused. Rhythm game time. Very, very short rhythm game time. <laughs> Two chests. Dran's Crest. And... Undead Buster. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know if there are necessarily any undead enemies around here, but I do know I have to sneeze. Oh, I love having the mute button handy. Is there any? Is there anything else happening in this room? Or is that it? There we go. That's the occasional sort of scripted room, I guess, that you'll find in these games. Uh, yes, to the next floor. We have not consumed any resources, really. Floor B5. Oop, hello again, sir. How's it going? Uh, got the hang of it yet? The floors beneath this one are even tougher. Now, to the advanced course, to give you a fair chance against the meaner enemies down below. Are you using your charge attack when fighting enemies? Hold uh, the circle button down, and after your body flashes, release it. With this, you'll do a jump slash. It's effective against flying enemies and ground enemies. Let's talk more about weapons. So, how are your weapons growing? If you don't start upgrading them now, you'll get into trouble some later. Uh, you'll get into some trouble trouble later. And before you upgrade, it's a good idea to keep attachments on. If you upgrade with them on, the weapon can absorb the power of the attachment to add to its own power. But there is power limit for each weapon. There is no need to upgrade its ability beyond this limit. When weapons reach level 5 or greater, they can status break. 
A status break is breaking down a weapon into a synth sphere that contains the power of that weapon. That's right. Um, if you install this onto other weapons as an attachment, you can add the old weapon's attributes to the new weapon. Yeah, so it's this recursive kind of thing. You can up upgrade a weapon, and then once the upgrade or the weapon gets upgraded so much, you can then basically put the uh, weapon's power into another weapon. It's a, it's a neat multiplicative kind of thing. Uh, the attributes in the synth sphere will add to the new weapon's attributes permanently when the sphere is absorbed. However, the attributes received may be less than that of the weapon before being made into a synth sphere. If the new weapon's limit is higher, then you can make a more powerful weapon. Pretty cool, huh? That's it for today's lecture. Take care of yourself. I will always be watching you. Poof. Floor B5. So let's take a look at... Yikes. Okay, so it told me circle, but <laughs> it's really square. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Holding circle does nothing. That's, uh... I want my HP back. <laughs> I see an enemy over yonder. You, sir. I would like to... Yikes! That costs durability, even if I miss. That's interesting. Okay, sham shear is nearly broken. Give me that money. And yeah, let's go ahead and do repair powder to the sham shear. Life is good. Yamich, get yamiched. Endurance plus one again. Loving it. Map acquired. Love an early map. What you got? Nothing. Bummer. Nice. Loving the good repair powder. Nothing from him either. Is it a building? Do we have a building? Small windmill one, that sounds like a building. Magical crystal, even better. All contents of the map are now displayed. And this is the way down to the next floor. Bone key. How about this one? How's this one looking? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Pond! We already got one. Well, I suppose. This game is good. You're right. Ooh, a mellow banana. Hey, yay! I've been looking forward to playing this game for a while now. It's... It's... I've had this on the... Uh, to play list for um I think since Lufia 1 which was <laughs> a good few months ago now <laughs> um I was I'd pretty much been waiting for um this PS2 I'm playing on I picked up on eBay real cheap a few months ago but I didn't have a particularly decent way of capturing the footage so eventually the uh, retro tank 5x pro came back in stock in i want to say march um so i picked up one of those i do also have the sequel um the 
near future of the channel will be uh, Dark Cloud and then Kingsfield Ancient City and then Dark Cloud 2. Wah. Just floored. Didn't even give me anything for the trouble. What a shame. Consume uh, the bread. Oh, muscle. What's the mellow banana? Okay, interesting. So it'll recover HP at the expense of some thirst. But we've got a spring. Ooh, Shamshir is a delicate thing. Let's go ahead and repair powder again. Uh, there it is. Heek! Ooh, it somehow missed. Yeah, this strikes me as <clears throat> one of those games that, if I had it as a kid, I would have played it quite a lot too. Especially the uh, rogue-likeness of it, um, breathing a lot of replayability into it. Lamp acquired. So many lamps. This town loves their lamps. Okay. It's, I definitely grew up with a PS2. That was definitely in my, uh, in my collection as a youth, but didn't have this game in particular. Didn't know it existed, but now I do, and now I'm playing it. And it is good. I've watched a playthrough of this game before. So I'm not th throbbing cherry again. Weird thing. Um, so I'm not wholly unfamiliar with it. But also, I don't exactly know as much as, say, a person who's actually played it would know. <laughs> Transcrest! Yep, the uh, the NES is the first console I can remember playing. I th think there's a a big gap between uh, I'm the youngest of three, and there's a big gap between me and the other my other uh, my brother and sister. And they may have had an Atari, but that probably broke before I was born because I don't remember ever actually using it. Um, but definitely had a NES back in the day. I want to say, like, DuckTales is probably, like, one of the first games I have memories of playing. Um, DuckTales, Super Mario, Punch-Out 2 as well. Fence acquired. So much acquiring. There was a, another... Ah, okay. I was trying to think earlier of what the... What weekend games I might uh, put into circulation after I finish up my Prince of Persia efforts. Um, and I think... Ninja Gaiden. The Ninja Gaiden trilogy on the NES might be... Uh, might be the next weekend games after uh, Prince of Persia is wrapped up. How long it'll take for me to get there? How many of the prince of how many of the uh, um, Ninja Gaiden games I play? Didn't know, but um, I definitely rem remember as a youth. Ninja Gaiden was one of those games that I definitely tried playing a lot, but never, <laughs> never really made any real progress. Real young me was. Not cut out for that game. However, real old me might stand a chance. Down we go. Um, let's leave and refresh our stock here. 
request from the mayor some new uh, replenished resources. Adventure Day 3, uh, afternoon. Let's also put down... We have small windmill. Let's put that in no particular place. Looks good. Do we have anything we do have? Um, I don't think I have the windmill blades. Do have the ladder though. And we have an odd gaffer. We got many people in our wrist here. <clears throat> do we have any more? We have a pond as well. Pond next to a river, of course. Can I? Okay, I can't. Uh, that's fine. Um, I. Where can. I know Mr. Macho is his name. Or no, actually, it's Komacho that asked for a place where he could exercise. Maybe the pond is it. Laid down all the trees. Laid down all the pond. It's good. Okay. Mr. Mayor Man. More resources are requested. Um, let's repair powder. Thank you for the repair powder. Tis uh, much appreciated. And thank you for the second repair powder. Also very appreciated. Whirlwind gem. Wind power. Okay. Anything else of interest hiding out in our inventory? Seems alright. Let's take a look at what kind of attributes we can add to our sham shear here. Rock breaker's pretty great. Stone breaker, rather. Uh, boy. But endurance is a problem for sure. Ooh, fire. Maybe I want... Do I want a fire sham shear? Who am I kidding? I want a fire sham shear. That sounds very... That sounds very exciting. Fire Shamshir is where it's at. Maybe. The door! Okay, basement six. Good chunk of Atla. Loving the Atla. Oh, I see. The eight of eight just refers to Atla. Okay. <laughs> I guess. I thought that was indicating chests, but maybe not. And it's not entirely clear. I guess maybe. Uh, okay, I'll. I'll learn. Ka chunk. Uh, it's that cat again. Uh, uh, er, erg, arg. That cat has disappeared once again, as cats are wont to do. Yikes! Uh, meow. And oh, uh, die. It's the skeleton. Get skeletoned. And a bread. I'll take that. Hey, early spring. Loving the early spring. So many problems are solved. Oof. Let's cower back in our spring, shall we? Get dead.
Boo, and a repair powder. Loving it. <clears throat> Behold the contents of this atla. The my house. Loving it. Magical crystal. It's like fireworks. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> the uh, the the skill requirement between this and Prince of Persia are <laughs> uh, unequal, to say the least. Not to say I haven't died, though. <laughs> I'm still plenty capable of having died in Dark Cloud a few times already. For fortunately. Bone shape? Did I pick up the bone key already? I don't remember. I apparently did. Oh, good. Fortunately, the punishment for death. Dran's Crest. <clears throat> in, uh... In Dark Cloud. Is minimal. Keg acquired. <laughs> um... I think I got one shot by one of these guys. I... I broke my... I had a sham shear early on, and that broke, so I had to fight a bunch of those guys with a very low damage dagger. <laughs> and... they got the better of me. Ooh, uh. Let's go ahead and... repair powder. It's good. Another Atla. Upstairs storage. We found an attic in a ball. Swing and a miss. There we go. I can upgrade the sham shear, and we will. The sham shear abs are full. What do we want to? Uh, Stonebreaker. Let's. Let's imbue it with better endurance. And then let's upgrade. Whoa! Shamshir plus one. Yes. And let's put fire back on. And stonebreaker back on. Could even do another endurance plus one if we wanted. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, the... it's... Yeah, the, the inventory uh, becomes a mess quite quickly, it seems, in this game. Sorting will be frequently done. Road acquired. I always happen to find the back of these chests and not the front. Map acquired. Uh, let's see. Oh no! Funds decreased. That means uh, that was that's half my money, isn't it? I forget how to game that. I feel like there's a way, or no way. So funds, you can get funds increased, which doubles your money. Funds decreased might not have it, but it certainly does decrease it anyway. And I think there's a way to sort of game it such that you only ever get fund increases and completely break the economy <laughs> of the game. Something like that. Uh, 
It's sort of the Paige's house. It's the thing where I've watched a playthrough, so yay, I know some things about this game. But only bits and pieces, not enough of not, not enough knowledge required to actually put any of it together. <laughs> Fourteen. The occasional little nugget of knowledge. But just too little to be useful. <laughs> Claude's house. Good news, Claude. Literally pushed over the skeleton. Yikes. Whoa. Okay, let's go ahead and repair powder. I do have, I do have. It's good. Oh yeah. Eleven money. Loving the big money. And or the big prizes. Getting thirsty. Yes. Alright, so that's how we leave. Oh yeah. Is that... I think that's his whole meh. Okay. Durability alarm going off already. Despite our best efforts, the sham shear is still quite delicate. Yes, yes. Uh, Drance quest. Crest. I will never say that right, ever. Uh, let's leave and get ourselves um, some repair powder and spam that. Also, let's put up some buildings. We got some buildings that we can build. It's almost like the word building is derived from the word build. It's like there's a connection there. It's like the two words are related somehow. Must be a false cognate. And repair powder, if you please. Can I have some more? Thank you. And... Do we have anything else of interest? Okay. Looking good. Right. I am going to take a real quick break, and then when we return, we shall continue with the Dark Cloud, and we will build some buildings, including Claude's house. I'm sure Claude, in particular, is excited. All right, be back in just a little bit. Hang tight. 